checking back at the historic week of April 1st and beyond on the Red and Black Rewind. A busy Olympic sports schedule saw the ninth-ranked Cardinal baseball team lose a tough one to sixth-ranked rival Kentucky 5-4 in 10 innings Tuesday before sweeping a three-game set at Cincinnati, including the first college game ever at Great American Ballpark on Saturday. The 11th-ranked Cardinal softball team beat rival Kentucky 5-1 on Wednesday and swept away St. John's, winning three games easily in New York on the weekend. Men's and women's tennis both split a pair of matches on the road. Cardinal lacrosse lost a heartbreaker to number seven Notre Dame at home in double overtime, but bounced back with a 21-2 drubbing of Marquette on Sunday. Women's golf placed ninth at the SMU Invitational, while the men finished 13th at the Irish Creek Invite in Charlotte. Track and field continue the outdoor season with 18 top 10 finishes at the Tiger Classic in Alabama. The fifth-seeded UofL women's basketball team crashed the big dance with their third straight upset, knocking off perennial power Tennessee 86-78 for a berth into the Final Four, their second trip in five seasons. As the underdog for the fourth straight game, the Cards topped Cal 64-57, moving them into a rematch of the 2009 NCAA title game with UConn. But it was the Huskies who ended the card Cinderella run just short of a national title. And the top overall seed men's basketball team captured their third national championship in school history. A nerve-wracking 72-68 comeback win over Wichita State in the national semifinal set up what would be one of the greatest championship games ever played. As most outstanding player Luke Hancock rallied the Cardinals from down 12 for a second straight game scoring 22 points in the 82-76 win on the same day that head coach Rick Pitino was elected to the Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame. The 2013 Louisville Cardinal men's basketball team, national champions. What a week. That's your Red and Black Rewind.